Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, reports have come out of the Ukraine and Dunsk uh, of a nuclear bomb that went off uh, on February 8, 2014. This is what it looked like to everybody. Okay, this came to you from YouTube. Let me see here. Who is it? Well, this guy, uh, Cameroon, whatever his name is. Uh, anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this video for you up to about this point. Now, yes, there's a cover story. The cover story is that a group, one group or another, has hit a chemical factory and a, even an arms warehouse, one story said. Okay? So there's like five, six, seven different stories as to what this was in this one area. But this is what people saw, and this is only one of the videos going around. Okay. That's what people saw. Now, I'm not going to say it's a nuke, but I can give you probably 15 sources right now that confirmed it was a nuclear bomb that went off. Either a a small one that had some of the bells and whistles able to be taken out, like the uh, the massive backblasts, certain things like that, EMP, etc. Now, I know what you're here. I know what you're saying. Can't be. Can't be. Can't be. Can't be. A lot of things couldn't be in the beginning. But here's the funny thing about this, folks. Okay, let me show you the story I found way, 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 way back, as far back as I can go on this. Okay? This is what I found. Alright, let me get rid of this. Let me screen capture this again. Okay, here we go. Okay, this was a story published in Russia. Copyrighted 2014. Russia, the popular blog, about one-sixth part of the land, yada, 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 yada. Nuclear explosions in Dunsk today. This one was September 20, 2014 by Tim. Granted, these are big bombs, big explosions, and all the ash and everything are carrying out. That looks like a pretty good size. Obviously not a nuke. Now, this is one that's been going around, going around, going around. Everybody wanted to do their own. But, let me get to this first. RT. Oh, uh, yeah, let me add it. Hang on. Screen capture. I hate this. RT says... Huge explosion, dunks, chemical plant, Kiev flames, drop giant cigar butt. Okay, fine, no big deal. This guy here on his YouTube I just showed was a nuke. Here's Snopes.com. Snopes said nuclear bomb detonated in Ukraine, question mark, of course. Uh, they're going with the cover story. Uh, a nuclear bomb was detonated in Ukraine. False. But it's all over Facebook. And they bring you the original story on February 8, 2015. An Internet Chronicle site, or the Internet Chronicle site, published an article claiming Ukraine, the, that Ukrainian government officials had confirmed the detonation of a nuclear blast in the country with suggestion that the blast originated weapon employed by Russian forces. 
Now, I'm not going to read the entire thing because i got too many to go through, but Snopes, uh, Snopes.com slash politics slash war Ukraine dot ASP. IGN is a gaming network and tag network. They're confirming the same thing. Reports are coming out that a nuclear bomb has been detonated in the Ukraine. Okay, they have several videos, so let's watch the several videos. But I learned that if I if I read the entire article and everything, I am unfortunately uh, supposed to include everything if I watch part of it. I can report it. I can give you this stuff. You can look at it yourself. Okay, there we go. There it is. Okay. Okay, let me do this one. Step for Okay. Now this is out of Ukraine. Now let's talk physics for a minute. Hang on, let me let me, let me just go through all this. Alright, this is yournewswire.com. They have the same story. I'm not gonna play it over. Uh, it says, local militia reported that military chemical weapons plant DKZHI was targeted by Kiev's artillery shelling. However, Kiev blamed drop of cigarette butt. And that's about it. This is the video from the video site. This is RT. Here's Funkerville. Funkerville, it says, yes, there was the nuke. It says, on Sunday night, a gigantic mushroom cloud explosion was seen over Dunsk. The blast could be heard and felt for miles. Immediately, amateur videos were uploaded to the Internet. The rumors of a nuclear attack began to shake. Okay. Okay, Funkerville.com slash nuke panic after huge explosion in Ukraine. Hang on. I got others. Hang on. Okay. Uh, WRC, we are changed. Huge explosion. Uh, in Ukraine, speculate nukes. Uh, by Alec Cope, 88, February 8th. Uh, massive explosion, Rock Dunsk. One local official says it was larger than usual. Kiev based news outlets are reporting that it, that's an artillery round exploding. In a chemical depot, apparently killed 200 terrorists, supposedly. So, you can believe what you want. Uh, let, me, let me go with this guy real quick. Freedom Fighter 2127. Hello everyone and welcome to Freedom Fighter 2127. We've got some urgent news taking off in Ukraine. A tactical nuke has potentially exploded. It's an extremely large explosion. Um, it, the, it was at least six, seven miles away. It can be felt. It's a shattering window seven miles away is what I'm trying to get at. Uh, the question is, is it a tactical nuke or not? I am not the only one asking, so is RT. Uh, video spectacular explosion leaves a mushroom cloud in eastern Ukraine. The residents of the city... Sorry about that. Donetsk have witnessed an explosion of tremendous magnitude that has come from a mushroom cloud, uh, excuse me, that has come to form a mushroom cloud. AUC assume that this is an explosion at a factory or a ballistic missile. AUC the explosion occurred west of Donetsk around 2250 local time and caused a shock wave that swept the city. In many parts of Donetsk felt the shock and uh, detonation destroyed windows according to the data of social networks. The explosion was felt even in the neighboring cities of um, I, I can't even pronounce this. I apologize. Uh, I apologize. Mecca via. Sorry. Mecca and Grolovka. I'm sorry. They've they are bombarding the entire city. It is difficult to say now what exactly happened there. Uh, there are two options. Or is a tactical ballistic ballistic missile, Tochka, or an expl I hate Google translation. 
or explosion at a factory, he told RIA uh, Novosti, spokesman of the Ministry of Defense of the People's Republic of Donetsk, Eduard Basurin. The minister stated that he is studying the exact cause of the explosion. Within a few hours, there will be more uh, precise information. The district chief, Kiveski of Donetsk, Ivan uh, wrote on Facebook that the explosion occurred in the village of Pesky, west of Donetsk. Uh, obviously, this is huge. About two minutes thirty. This is a massive escalation. It took place, I think it was about an hour ago, uh, Eastern Standard Time, so about six thirty p.m. Obviously, there's a big question mark of what the hell it is. Uh, today, Germany warned that the actual death toll of both civilians and armed forces in Ukraine totals around fifty thousand. Um, if this is if this is a, a nuclear explosion, a tactical nuclear explosion, it is obviously right. going to lead Freedom to World Fighter War III. And this is what I've been trying to point to for a long time, that something of this magnitude would take place. Uh, the last-ditch peace efforts appear to be fizzled out. Russia has warned Europe that if the U.S. arms Ukraine, there will be war. That was according to uh, the Total Collapse, which is another great website to check no, out. They're not going to come out and tell you it's a for a long away. time or so so remember that. Stuff. They're going to make up every But just a couple days ago, I can't remember if it was yesterday or the day before, I reported that um, Russia was putting was ICBMs on patrol. I'll repeat yeah. that. So I'm obviously, talking. ICBMs on patrol. Hang on. But just a couple days ago, I can't remember if it was yesterday or the day before, I reported that um, Russia was putting ICBMs on patrol. Yeah, so obviously there was either, they had planned it, they knew it was coming, uh, it was going to escalate extremely. And John I Kerry was just in English Ukraine, I think, I think it was correct, I'm not entirely sure on that one. I can't remember who it was. One of the idiots of America was in Ukraine causing some kind of issue, that's what they do. Um, but clearly, According to Russia, or excuse me, according to Putin, if we arm Ukraine, there will be war. And then this happened. I'm, I'm okay, folks, I can't play the entire thing. Uh, this guy was Freedom Fighter 2127, breaking uh, four, uh, quote, uh, four exclamation marks, tactical nuclear explosion in Ukraine, question mark, exclamation mark, massive explosion, three question marks. 17,505 views. You can subscribe. I don't have mine to subscribe open. Uh, my YouTube part open. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this guy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I hate this. Okay, so there's a bunch of people saying this is probably the nearest thing to a nuke that they could possibly find. Okay, so let me just close this out for you. I have one more thing to show you. And it's the reason why I didn't uh, read that first part when it said September 20th because I wanted to save it for the information. Because September 2014, they had information on some shit in this English Russia site. Whether this way, that way, it doesn't matter. And the information is the part that matters not the videos. So let me go ahead and get you that story real quick. So we have several sites including RT that says this is too big to be a regular bomb but it could be a small tactical nuke that's sized down and having everything sized down to where even the backdraft could be sized down to say a quarter square block or even smaller I mean, if this thing was designed in a lab for, you know, 200 years or has it been 60 years since since the last major nukes have gone off, something like that, then they could they could literally control everything about this. And let me, let me just hurry up and get that to you and stop talking. So the idea that there's no way in hell, highway, etc., uh... Is kind of something. Woo! Hey, they, they shared my guy. Yay! Yay! Okay, cool. Cool, I'm getting popular. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I thought I had this open and I. And it was closed. Uh, I've been having a lot of problems lately. 
with my technical stuff, even the TV today has decided to phase out on me for some reason. Don't ask why. Here it is. I'm opening right now, and we can view it right now, as soon as it loads. This is that original document I just showed you the first time around. Screen capture. Here we go. English Russia. Now, let me get into the reading it for you. Because, see? That's what it looked like, a small mushroom cloud. This is September 20, 2014. Today is February 8th, or February 9, rather. So remember, they're a day ahead of us, or behind us, etc. The first one was taken down. I'm not going to show you because you saw this. This was the uh, just the smoke plume. Come on, 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 come on. Here it is. Okay. All right, here we go. So this is it right here. Oh, come on. All right. Well, this is Dunsk after six hours ago, according to the locals. And it's not sure what exactly those explosion, what those explosions are, but the rumors are based Ukrainian top military authority, quoted by a journalist, who said tactical nuclear weapons were used against our soldiers in Dunsk airport. They were fired from a 2S4 T-Y-U-L-P-A-N uh, Tyulipan Soviet self-propelled mortar, which, quoting Wikipedia, can fire armored piercing chemical or nuclear rounds. And remember, th these aren't just something you put on the ground and a shell goes off in the distance and that's it. Okay? When they say a mortar piece, a mortar can be put into an artillery gun and fired 100 miles. Or whatever whatever the package shell is, and it could be lobbied at an exact distance, calculated by hundreds of computers and everything else. So the very fact that that they even mention this kind of technology, even uh, as forward as what is this, September twentieth, twenty fourteen, means that they were kind of noticing some of this shit happening. So this story isn't necessarily um, new. This is two incidents where they claim a mushroom cloud of some magnitude was used. A nuclear bomb, nuclear, etc. was used. Now, was it? Probably not. You're right. It probably wasn't. On either occasion, it probably was not a bomb, but a nuclear bomb. But the idea is... They said that uh, on this one, on the September 20th, that the explosion was so strong that buildings collapsed totally from basement to the fifth store. If not those Tylopons, we could stay there for a few months more. A few more photos and the videos and those, expl and those explosions there, and then boom, buildings were gone, I guess. Okay, uh, trees are in the way and stuff, I apologize. But that's what they saw in the middle of the day. Big old flipping mushroom cloud that was cut part of the way through, I know, I see. But that's not a normal bomb, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, the bombs are usually way down here. Not all the way up here. Okay? Now, I've heard rumors that nuclear technologies have gotten so small, you can put them in a hand grenade put a hundred hand grenades in a backpack, rig them all to go off, and it would cause something like Hiroshima, Nagasaki. One goes off, it'd take out, eh, two, three buildings in a row. Wipe them off the face of the planet, you'd never know they were there if nobody saw it happening. The aftershock and the radiation after 72 hours or whatever was nearly nothing. These could be put in an ICBM, or what they say, uh, an S2R, what was this, uh, Tusulapan, uh, 2SR, yeah, Tai Ulpan, uh, Soviet self-propelled mortar, uh, which has been known to be modified for armor piercing or chemical or nuclear rounds. And let's see if I can open this link to see what this is. 
Here we go. We're going to open this up on... Okay, so this is what this machine is by Wikipedia. So this is not just some guy sitting on the ground with a freaking mortar tube. This is something that can fly 75 to 100 miles away or so. You put one of these in, you know, 100 kilometers away and fire one off, and the, the other side wouldn't have any idea that you were there. So this isn't your grandfather's World War II story where they had to fly to the actual site to drop the nuke. So I'm not bringing you one story. I'm bringing you two different stories that the people are talking about in Ukraine where they have claimed nuclear bombs have gone off. Okay? The first, and I'm sure there's tons more. I'm sure. I'm sure at least one of them is official. I'm sure of it. At least one. Now, it may not be one of those two. I'm sure there are probably ten other stories. Of course. But, this is what the hype is in Ukraine right now. Nukes are going off. Now, I saw that uh, whenever I see a nuclear video, and I've had to analyze them for different uh, classes and stuff like that, especially for chemistry, there's usually that big glow at the bottom and then it goes up and then it just gets bright and that usually happens for a minute or two and then it comes back slowly then you see the mushroom cloud now we're not seeing that here so I don't think these are the nukes but if you modify them, if you modify the cylinder, if you modify the uranium, plutonium, radiation core, whatever you're using to create the nuke. Alright, I've seen synthetic nuclear materials, you know, all through the 90s, you know, there were, there were awesome stories about how different groups, on TV rather, were creating synthetic nuclear materials that they could bash together to create a nuke that nobody would ever see coming because they're made out of plastics or some shit like that all right that shit was real that that bomb whatever it was was real now on the september 20th site it said that these self-propelled mortars from the 2SR uh... Tylopans, or telepans whatever they're called those things can launch nukes, and the size of them, they can probably launch a chemical or an incendiary round. My guess is probably plus 20 miles. Without accuracy, 20 miles. But, I mean, this, this looks like, the, the one I showed you was a 1972 version. Alright, I guarantee you, whatever Russia has sitting on Ukraine's doorstep... I guarantee you that is state of the art that can be used to shoot it 200 miles. Their radar won't detect it. They won't be able to shoot it out of the sky. It's not going to have a hairy long missile that they can track through the skies as it's coming in. I guarantee you it's going to go shh. And that's it. You're not even going to see the shh. All you're going to hear is that's it okay this isn't your great granddaddy's war anymore alright these guys are no longer fucking around whether or not we ever find out that they were actual nukes or not it doesn't matter these rounds these these munitions that these guys have nowadays I mean they're testing nukes underneath the ground now of briefcases and hand grenades that can be smuggled into different areas and let off. I mean, corporations are testing these in logistics, and uh, and engineering consulting firms are testing these things. That's how every fucking day these things are. Now you can say what you want about it being real or not real of these two stories, but I didn't just bring you one story that they're talking about now on uh, two nine. 
I brought you two. One that backed it up from September 20th of 2014. I couldn't find anything more, but I guarantee you there are a dozen stories out there, if not less, if not half a dozen, that have claimed small tactical nuclear weapons have been used. Now, there were reports in Iraq that we were using small tactical nuclear weapons. They're honest to God, honest to God, honest to God. There were reports that on the ground that we would launch every once in a while a small tactical nuclear bomb. And it would be just like that. A, basically a giant fucking boom. A little area that's just decimated. And then our guys would go in 48 to 72 hours later. And basically clean up and there was nothing left. I don't know if that's true. I can't guarantee you this is true. Because the official story is going to be don't let the word nuke out. And somebody let the word nuke out. Okay, and I didn't just bring you one story, I brought you two. Two from Ukraine, and both said Dunsk. Okay? One September 20th, the other February 8th. They're not going to come out and say the first time, oh yes, Russia launched a nuke. They're not going to fucking tell you that. They're not going to let that information go until February, you know, 15th. Oh, well, it's been confirmed by multiple sources now that it was a small tactical nuclear bomb that was fit for a mortar tube to be launched 100 miles in. They're not going to fucking tell you that right away. It could have been. I don't know. I didn't get a good look at it. Now, the thing that I was looking for is the heavy wind and the heavy outblast. Because usually when there's that bright light, there's that back blast. And that's the signature of the nuke. Now, did they somehow perfect a nuke? Where, well, okay, fine, yes. Most of the time when you see those World War II videos and those videos in Korea where we were testing them, we were testing them here, we were testing them there. You didn't always hear the sound because you weren't that far, that close to it. But still, those people recording, if that had been a size nuke from the World War II era, those people would have been in a blast radius. Okay? Now, could they have developed a bomb where it would light off, and then at that point when it slowed down, have the blast all of a sudden drop off? I don't know. Honest to God, I don't know. I would imagine we can't do that kind of shit yet. But I'll be honest with you. I think maybe it was. I think it was a small tactical nuke that can be employed anywhere. I mean, this is going back to, uh, who was it? Um, Single 7 in the 1990s said their shit started uh, when nukes were introduced that were able to just basically go off and then disappear and then people would be able to walk around like it was nothing two three days later uh... john teeter supposedly said that russia used tactical nuclear weapons that were the size of a football or something about that size and that's when his war started and you know I mean, I, I can only tell you how much of this is kind of being strung along to the to the same situation. Uh, I didn't honestly believe that this kind of thing would go, but evidently, hey, this was a story today. And I didn't bring you just one. This is I, I brought you two different stories. One came from a uh, Russian uh, blogger from September 20th. And the other one today... Uh, February 9, 2014, even though they said uh, February 8th because it was their time. So this is huge, people. Nukes over Ukraine. Okay? This is huge. Now, let me explain something to you. This isn't just fucking hype. Okay? Everything can be mathematically proven. Okay? 
Now, whether whether or not that blast that was yesterday or today technically was a nuke is hearsay. It doesn't matter. But the idea that the word nuke and Ukraine is being pushed around means somebody's somebody's ordering nukes. Somebody's moving nukes. I'm telling you right now. Okay, the story you're being fed is only half the truth. It's the word. It's the hype. Remember I brought you all those stories uh, about Iran and South, or North Korea working together and how North Korea supposedly launched a nuke and tested a nuke and that was the same time when the Sony hacker shit came out? Remember that? Same idea. Everybody was talking about North Korea. Well, the story was they were testing nukes. The backstory was, oh my god, there's a cyber attack on Sony. Oh my god. So this was, hey, there's nukes going around in, uh, in Ukraine. Not, hey, nukes are being moved around in Ukraine. Oh shit. Or around to Ukraine. You know, maybe NATO's moving around a few. I don't know. But nukes have been reported twice in Ukraine, in Dunsk. So I'll bet your sweet ass, if we don't see something about a week or two from now, one that either confirms it or the second one, that it's a big fucking nuke coming. Alright? This is not just all hype. It's all just planned, and we're just going along with it. That's exactly what it is. Okay, America 2.0, out.